Welcome back everyone. We're gonna show you how we coated this 15 foot long conference table in a bang cut pattern technique. Awesome colors. Order your kit today at Ligari.com. All right, everyone got our base coat mixed up. We're gonna coat this whole counter in black. We're gonna add a bunch of different colored veins and we're going for the uh, a vein cut granite look. So we're gonna have veins run all the way down, back and forth, right down the middle of the table. It's gonna be awesome. So pour this right down the middle. And then when you're doing your your uh, your puddles or your your ribbons of epoxy, you want to try to keep them the same thickness. Since I got a little bit more over here, I'm just going to start pushing this down a little. I want to try to get these puddles as even as I can all the way down. That way, when I spread them out, I know I got a good even coat everywhere. So instead of cross rolling this, I'm gonna use this as a squeegee. See how my roller's not rolling? I'm just gonna go start bringing that back to me. And then I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. This will make it so you can spread the, the resin out really fast on large areas. So I'm bringing that right to the edge, but not as close to where it's gonna start flowing over. So I don't wanna lose product. I wanna get this top spread out before I start doing any, anything on the edges. See how nice that lays out without even doing anything to it? No bubbles. Last smooth. We do got a couple chunks of debris in it, but we'll we'll pull those out before we do the vein. Pull the chunks out as you go. That way you don't have to try to get those up to get all the colors on. So what I'm doing now is just rolling it all out one last time before I roll my edges. So when I do my edges, I want to get the roller soaked with epoxy. Do about a foot, soak it again. Because if we have a dry spot on this edge, the, the product won't flow over even and coat all of it. So we want to make sure we get a, a thin coat on all the edges before we do our decorative colors and 
and our veining technique. And if your roller starts to sound sticky like this, you need more product. So don't just try to stretch it, get more product on the roller. And notice how I'm, I'm working fast. I'm not being delicate and, and moving the product really slow. You're not gonna hurt it by moving it fast. The only thing you might do is if you roll this roller too quick, you can throw a epoxy on like your backsplash or your wall. So you just wanna be careful about that. So now we're gonna add our highlights. And like I said before, we're doing a vein cut technique on this where we're gonna run veins all the way down and then we're gonna blend them in with a pool trowel. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna start. And I can always add to these veins. So I wanna make sure I get some color throughout the whole table before I run out. And you don't necessarily need to go all the way down either. Kind of the more random you are, the better. And we're doing different amounts of each color. So khaki had the most, coffee's gonna be the the second amount of product we're going to use. And even having wider spots like that is good. You don't want them all the same thickness. silver I'll decide and pour right up to the edge because if I pour right along the edge here that's gonna just flow over and we're not gonna have any of that on the top so you want to stay a little bit inside that edge that way when the product starts flowing over the edges it's not pushing all that color off and our last color is going to be our pearl white All right, now that we got all the colors on, usually if you're doing a counter, they're about two foot wide. You can kind of stretch over and do it. I, I really could with, if I go to each side of the table. But we got a custom, we got a custom trowel here with the GoPro on it. So we're gonna give it a, give it a try here. We, I like to use a pull trowel cause it's, it's a rounded edge. And if I wanna do a skinny, I wanna blend these in together skinny. I just kind of hold it straight and even. If I want to do it wider, I'll tilt it and what'll happen is it'll, it'll pull a wider area of the product and it'll blend it different. So as I'm blending this, I just want to go kind of as random as I can. Tilt it, get a wider. I mean, this is probably another one of our super easy techniques and looks good every time. And you can blend it more, you can blend it less. It's kind of the desired look you're going for. But having it on this pole makes it so I'm not gonna get poxy all over me. And I don't wanna be stepping in the resin that's dripping off, so it's actually really nice. But 
But notice how I got different widths here. Skinny, it's pulled a little more there. That's what's gonna give us a really cool look. I'm just going to focus on the middle, get the middle how I want it. And make sure you pull the product off the, off the corner. You don't want it to look like a start and stop point. Notice how I'm trying to keep it nice and straight. You can have some, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because most granite's not. But we, we want to go in the same pattern that we poured the, the colors out. So an example, I don't want to go across this way. Here. It's not going to look as good. I'm just going to keep going back and forth. Once I get close to the edge, I'll take it off the pole and finish it out because it is easier doing it with just your hand. All right, we'll take this off and I'll do the edges. Now I'm just going to continue that. You do have a lot more control when you use it like this. Yeah, the, the only reason you guys want to put it on a pole is if you're doing a, or somewhere you have to stretch out really far, like maybe a big island, something like that. What's gonna happen now is it's gonna start flowing over these edges and these we won't have to touch these edges at all. So what we might do, depending on how it starts to flow over, we might take that roller and just roll over the edges one more time. Now I'm just gonna wanna make sure all my ends look decent. Which they really do. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that good for, for that part of this. Now I will take that roller. Because you can see, it's wanting to flow over the edge. There's just not enough resin here to make it flow over continuously. So it's kind of kind of pulling in random spots. You can see some spots it's flowing over. And that's what we want the whole edge to look like. So just taking the roller, rolling over this is gonna help make it do that. See, look how nice that looks. It's gonna look like we cut this out of a, a slab of granite. You see how it's all leveling out, all the spots where I pushed it away. It's start, starting to level out, filling all those gaps. Like right here, it's still gotta fill in a little. But it will, we got a good enough, thick enough coat out here. It's gonna all level out. 91% isopropyl alcohol. And these tables are, they bow in like this. So there's a seam here, there's a seam here. So these long pieces, they bow in. And what's happening is a lot of the products running from this edge down in to fill it in. So I don't want to spray a lot of isopropyl here because it's really thin and it can separate it and bring it down to the primer. Then I gotta, I gotta take time and fill that back in. So I'm gonna spray it really light on those edges. And I'll do a test spray to make sure it's spraying how I want. This is going to create some really cool cells. It's going to help push those metallics around and make them a little more natural looking. If you do this too soon, a lot of these will just disappear because the metallics will level back out. 
if you wait too long, it won't really affect them. So you want to do it about anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes after you applied the coating. And a lot of times we'll just spray it and then wait around 10, 15 minutes. If they start to disappear, we'll hit it again. And we did get some bubbles from playing with the epoxy so much. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're all gone now. All right, check this table out. 15 foot long, I wanna say four foot wide, and it's just a masterpiece. Uh, we got some really cool cell effects, dispersing effects, vein patterns, blending. This table just turned out amazing. They picked the colors. We did the, uh, a new technique doing the pool trial. Super easy, order your kit. You can do the same exact look by following our instructions, watching the videos. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell button. Make sure you guys are getting notified when we post new videos, you'll be seeing stuff like this. We got some really cool uh, uh, new, new stuff we're launching this year. So really pay attention to our posts, follow us on social media, comment below, let us know what you thought. Um, and remember, you saw it here first and Ligari.com has you covered.